um, in the last number of years, this uh, girl that I that I started to work with had been to numbers of other therapists, and she was uh, basically turned off to treatment, turned off to, to life, stayed in her room much of the time, uh, like many kids that age, uh, was doing it well enough in school, and people thought, okay, she's really okay. She's just a, um, uh, you know, a, an up and down adolescent, which is one of the things that we have to keep in mind, because kids go up and down, and kids move in different directions. They're like multiple cells. Mm -hmm. And we often don't get that they're suffering because that weekend they can go to a movie and they can enjoy it. They can be on a play date when they're younger and they can look like they're having a great, great time. Then at night, then sometime when things quiet down, the extent to how much they're ruminating, which is what this girl was doing. This girl was spending her time in her room, not online, but worried about things like whether the universe was going to end about what was going to be happening to, um, to the, for the rest of her life, about being tainted. In fact, if some clothing touched other clothing and then made its way to her body. Now, these are not things that you often uh, will get kids to talk about mm -hmm. until you, began, you begin to uncover them in the work and say, this is too much. This is too much to, to handle alone. It's too much for me to handle alone. I want to get another perspective. And so, again, I sent this person uh, and her family, and I said to her, and this is the way I often introduce it to uh, kids and especially adolescents, I say, you know what? You're complicated. And they, you know, kids feel uh, acknowledged that, in fact, they are. 